there is one overlooked thing you can do to make your PvP experience just that little bit easier, and I'm going to talk about it in this video. So one of the most overlooked things I'm going to talk about in this video is your choice of cannon. Believe it or not, what cannon you use will drastically affect how well you can perform and aim in any battle situation. So in this video, I'm going to give you some examples of what I mean and also explain the best type of cannons you can pick to improve your PvP experience. Now, it goes without saying there are tons of cannon cosmetics you can use in Sea of Thieves, and even though they all do the same basic thing, how they look affects things drastically. By that, I mean some of the cannons are really big, so you can't see much. Other ones have weird curves at the barrel end, so it's hard to see where you're aiming, and some are just a lot smaller, so you've got more screen room. Showing basically here are the default cannons. Now the default cannons are things like the Golden Sailor cannons that you can see here, the Sea Dog cannons, or just any other cannon that looks similar to what you base spawn with. If we keep this exact same shot and switch to another cannon like the Killer Whale cannons, you can see there's a bit of a slight difference. This distance is way more drastic when you put things like the Obsidian cannons and some really big cannons. So you can see the point of the video here. You want to find cannons that work well for you and don't chop and change because it's going to make your shots feel drastically different. One of the main reasons why you may feel like you're not shooting well or something feels off is most likely because you're rocking a different cannon than what you're used to. So your shots are going to be drastically different because you're not used to aiming them in the specific way you aim the cannons you currently use. For me personally, the best cannons that I find are default cannons or variations of the default cannons, just because it takes the least amount of room, they're real basic, and they're pretty simple to aim with. And if you again compare them to a random set of cannons I've found that you can buy from the Emporium, you can see the size difference is insane, therefore where you aim to shoot will be drastically different at every single range, whether they're right next to you or at the max cannon range. So you may be thinking, how can I find the right cannons for me? Pretty simple, uh, trial and error is the way. I definitely recommend starting with default cannons or default cannon variants. They may not look the best, but they are going to be the most accurate to shoot with, at least starting at a base value. If that doesn't work, you can go for something smaller or maybe a bit bigger. Work out what you like, stick to them, and definitely don't switch them after you've got your preferred type of cannon. With that being said, though, that's the point of this video. I wanted to bring awareness to this because you have no idea how many times I've gone into a battle and seen people with just the wildest cannons that aren't practical at all. Using the right cannons could be the difference between winning and losing your next battles, and hopefully in this video, you've learned something new. With that being said, have a good day, night, evening, afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are around the world. Stay safe, stay cool, and I'm going to catch you all in the next video. Goodbye for now. Oh, yeah, and check me out on Twitch if you haven't already. Link in the description below.